happy weekend, everyone. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to vlog today. You guys know I'm not the best at this, so uh, usually when I vlog, I do, you know, I flip the camera around so you guys can see what I'm seeing, and apparently some of you guys don't like that, so now I'll try to put my face in every frame. Uh, but we are actually heading to Cabazon Outlets. We're going the back way where it's all rural. Rural? Did I say that right? Rural, yes. <laughs> that is the worst word. I have the hardest time saying it. And I feel like I have lipstick on my teeth because the color. I'm wearing um, MAC Shimmer and Spice. Um, I don't know, like I said, I don't know when you guys are going to see this, but I'm sure I'll talk about this on my favorites video. But it's the new holiday collection. I think it's called Shimmer and Spice. This thing is amazing. Anywho, I always feel like I have lipstick on my teeth. But we are headed there. Um, we have a ton of great shops at Cabazon. Cabazon is kind of in between. Um, it's right. It's really close by Palm Springs, and they have a ton of shops. We're talking Stuart Weitzman, Burberry, Prada, Gucci, um, you name it. They have everything out there, of course, except for Chanel and Louis Vuitton. Um, so hopefully I can find some good deals. Uh, I want to try out some new shoes, see what's going on. Even though I said I was going to take it easy on the shoes, that's not happening. Uh, but these, I get a lot of questions on my sunglasses. These are the Key Australia High Keys, um, the Desi Perkins, the gold ones. And yeah, do you guys check that out? Look at that zit. What is going on? I talked about it on my, what is it, my Minx Monday Q&A. And it's like not going away. It's smack in the middle. Hideous. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I will try to share as much eye candy as I can. I'll try to do like an outfit of the day so you guys can see what I'm wearing but I am wearing my tomboy uh, shirt from L&M which I love obsessed with it and yeah Robert's kind of wearing the same thing I am so we're like we're twinning isn't that cute yeah. <laughs> maybe you guys will see a glimpse of him <laughs> get a backpack too you're what get a backpack where are you getting a backpack business casual okay just so you guys know I think I have a bigger influence on him than he leads on because he has a crazy backpack collection. Like uh, North Face, what else? Jansport, uh, Osprey. Kelty. Who? Kelty. Kelty, I don't know. But I think he has as many backpacks as I do handbags. So he can never sit there and say, oh, you have too many bags. Because it's the same thing. A backpack is, it's a handbag. No. It, is, it totally is. How do you figure? It's a man bag. <laughs> no, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's the same thing. If you have to think about it, if you can't give me a solid, like, this is how a backpack is different from a handbag. You can't take a handbag camping. You can't take a handbag fishing. It says who? First of all, Louis Vuitton Damier Ben, carefree, it's canvas. I can put that thing through the ringer and it'll still look amazing. So. I could take it everywhere. I could take it fishing. No. Please. Well, keep all the tackle in your purse next time. Well, what? Keep all the tackle in your purse next time. Fishing. Tackle. Are you challenging me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should. <laughs> but um, if I have lipstick in my teeth and you're not telling me, that's gonna be bad. I feel like it's always like right here too, because I have like these vampire. Like, what are these? Like my canines. I know dogs only have K-19, I know. <laughs> but that's what I feel like I have. <laughs> and um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, I Olivia is Olivia, which is my car. Yes, I named my car, okay, leave me alone. Um, I, I took her in and I'm test driving the X1 as a loner and I asked you guys, you know, what you guys thought, if any of you have had the X1 or the, you know, any of the X versions. And this is the smallest one, right? Yes. And it's like a 2000, 2018, I don't know. Um, the M package. Huh? The M package. The M package, excuse me. It's pretty good. It's not bad. It responds really, really well. This is just a quick, like, FYI if you guys are looking into it. Um, it responds very, very well. It feels like it's a car. It's very small. It's deceiving because outside it looks like it's super tiny, and then inside it's extremely spacious. Check it out. It, they still have the plastic. Look at that. This car had 11 miles when I, 11 miles as a loner when I picked it up or whatever. So it's really, really nice. 
Uh, very spacious, like I said, and um, it gets pretty good gas mileage for an S SUV, but a lot of you guys have also said to check out the X5 uh, because it's a lot bigger and it feels like it's maybe the better way to go because he's been wanting to get an SUV, even though, excuse me, even though he has, I just totally did that on camera. Uh, <laughs> he wants to get an SUV um, to trade in the Jeep, probably. I don't know. I don't know. So, again, if you guys have any feedback on X5, X3, X1, what have you, let us know in the comments section down below. Word to the wise, if you live in Southern California and you want to go to Cabazon Outlets, don't come on a Sunday. It is freaking packed here. Baby doll, I think you have to go this way. Oh, it's a joke. It's so bad. It took us like 25 minutes to find parking. And we're not the type of people that try to get like front row parking or whatever. No. Joke. Alright, so here I am. I have my usual uniform, my tomboy shirt, Kia Australia sunglasses. I am wearing my Chanel mini rectangular, and then my jean shorts and my Kirk Look at these. So sparkly. We are in Stuart Whitesman. Look at my hair. Shiza. That's some shit going on there. Uh, but they have like look at this. Anywho, um, they have like thigh high, thigh scrapers, the 50-50s. They have a whole wall of the boots that's right behind me. These are all full price, but some of the other boots that they have, they're like $490, $492. So I'm going to try some on, even though I have something else in the works. <laughs> all right, so these are the thigh scraper. And I think they retail for like $800, bucks, 92 And I like that these are a little bit more round. Not, they're a little bit more rounded, whereas the 5050s, I feel like they're a little bit more square. But of course, I'm wearing the wrong outfit for them but they're on sale. I don't know. They look kind of weird, right? They look good from afar. <laughs> but, huh. And they have a faux zipper on the back, so it's all decoration. It doesn't really zip up, so. The thigh scraper from Stuart Whiteson. Okay, so these are called the High Street, or Thigh Street, I can't remember, but they're, in the gray suede and they have a tie on the back right there i don't know they're not bad the toe box feels kind of uncomfortable just because it's so pointy but these are on sale too and i think they're like 492. Um, i don't know what do you guys think i think i like the low ones a little bit better i mean this is this is me reaching, for sure, because this is not really my style, you know what I'm saying? But I like the color, just I don't think it really suits me that well, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, they're cute, and they have, there's the heel on them. So again, they're super pointy, I feel, anyways. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know what you think. Okay, so now we're heading, where is that? That's Balenciaga. Versace's on the side and then St. Laurent. They have a lot of stuff here. Oh my gosh. It's a beautiful day in Santa California. It's hot, it's like 90 degrees. And it's October, the end of October. So hopefully, I don't know, and then I'm gonna go to Mulberry because I've been wanting to buy a Mulberry bag for forever and I love their leather. This is shiny goat skin, and what was the name again? I'm so sorry. Winsley. And it has a heavy chain, which I really like. Dual zippers. I think this has now been dis discontinued, and this is the Darley in the pebbled leather. Look at that. And this is the Bayswater water in the oak with the gold hardware. Look at that. This is the new style. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. I think it's a little big, though. But it feels really comfortable. Yeah, for sure. Lily, any particular size? Just regular Lily, and then the ox one. Look at that, gorgeous. And it still has a little tree logo that I love. And check it out. Look at that. I'm not carrying too much in my Chanel, otherwise I would try to test it out. But I really like the way that it looks, or you can also double up the chain this way. Look at that. How cool is that? I really like this.
All right, so I have my glasses, but I'm gonna get these wrinkles even more. And yes, I'm filming on this, and it's probably gonna be jumpy, but it is what it is. You guys wanna see my face? Maybe not, maybe not after this vlog, right? But you can see the background, you can see all those beautiful palm trees. So there's still a ton of people here. Um, we just went into Coach. We'll always have a soft spot for Coach. My, always, my, one of my first loves and the line was ridiculous in there. Maybe I need, maybe I need to stop scrunching this. <laughs> but I'm gonna go to Valentino and hopefully I can find some stuff there and I can check out the lock bag that I've been wanting. Ooh, look at that wind blow. Do I look like a herbal essence commercial? <laughs> so this is the lock bag. This is in the gunmetal, which I really like. So it's on crossbody. It's a larger size versus something like that that's a little bit smaller. But I really like this size. Check it out. It's beautiful. I feel like this is kind of a pain in the butt though, the, the chain to take it off. But sixteen hundred bucks. Valentino, and then you also have all those backpacks and stuff. What do you guys think? I think it's super cute. My shirt is all over the place. All right, so we are now in the car heading to go get some lunch uh, because we've been here for like five and a half hours, it seems like. Um, but we walked out with a couple backpacks, one for Robert, one for myself. And I also uh, ended up getting Stuart Weitzman boots at Saks because they were a ridiculous price. I thought there was something wrong with them, maybe, I don't know. But the Stuart Weitzman 50-50 suede boots were $3.99. And I also had a gift card, so I put that towards it. I was thinking, oh, there has to be something wrong with them, blah, 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 nothing. Looked at every little nook and cranny, they're the exact same as the ones that are 655. So I have to try them on with uh, my taller socks to see how they end up fit, you know, fitting, because I have really, really thin socks on right now. So. Ended up coming to um, El Pollo Loco to, to eat. It's really hard to find like places to eat because of, of our diet or whatever. Um, so here I have to be like super selective about what I end up getting and I'll show you guys what I end up eating because I know some of you guys have been asking um, you know like you know is there something that I stick to I mostly stick to chicken breast that's what I prefer and uh, fish and I try to incorporate as much avocado veggies and things like that so that's mostly what my diet consists of we don't really go out to eat like fast food like we used to it used to be something that was like no big deal, I didn't cook dinner, he didn't cook dinner, whatever, let's just go get some fast food. We don't do that. So that's the biggest reason why, um, well, you know, what's been helping uh, my diet more than anything to be able to drop the, to drop the weight as well as um, exercising every day. So still exercising and eating right, um, but it's all a matter of what ends up working out for you. I don't really like to go, you know, into too much detail when it comes to weight loss and stuff, just because I know what I've been through and I know it's like such a touchy subject you know but okay so we just got our food so this is what I end up getting because even if I get chicken breast the skin has a lot of um, a lot of fat so I'm just gonna turn the camera so you guys can see it all right so this is what I get I get chopped up chicken I get chopped up chicken breast and then uh, I get a side of broccoli and I also get a side of avocado and I just pretty much combine everything together and then they have this salsa here regular um, red salsa that I put on top and that's pretty much what I eat and then you just get a uh, what's it called iced tea. iced tea that's it and it's got super low calories and it's by far one of the healthiest options I'm just saying that very loosely one of the healthiest options we've been able to find when we go out and about because of course this still has quite a bit of sodium um, but I just wanted to share really quickly and I'll share I'll put like a snapshot of, of the meal okay, so I was gonna put a picture in but this is pretty much what it is I don't know if it looks appetizing to some of you guys probably not <laughs> but the broccoli and then it's really really fulfilling in my opinion and just the avocado just with everything um, so yeah that's my meal we are on our way home. We just uh, finished eating. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put in the footage of wh where we ate, and what I ate. I might have. Who knows? If I did, you know, you know what I did. <laughs> um, but we found some. I mean, pretty good deals on the boots. I'm super excited about 
the Stuart Weitzman's that I got at Saks Off the Fifth. I thought there was, like I said, something wrong with them, but I guess not. I really need to stop frowning. See, this is why I don't like to vlog because I, I get so distracted with other things that are going on that I completely forget that I'm trying to talk to you guys. <laughs> and if I have broccoli in my teeth, well, what can I say? <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, so I was really excited about the deal that I got on the Stuart Weitzman's on the 50-50s. Um, I ended up getting a size 9. I have to go home and try them out again with the socks and the pants that I would normally wear them with. Um, I don't think I could really pull them off with wearing shorts and the boots. I don't know. But, I mean, that's a killer deal, right? $399, $399 for the 50-50s. But like I said, there's a size 9. There weren't any smaller sizes. But when I was at Stuart Weitzman, I tried on the 50-50s there. And I went down to an eight and a half, and I also tried an eight because they a lot of people say that you're supposed to go. You can either go down a half size or an entire uh, an entire size down. And I'm a nine in the U.S., so I tried on the eight, and it was. I mean, I can get away with it, but it was a little tight on the toe box. But the biggest difference is that my heel doesn't move around as much as it does on the nine or the eight and a half but then again I'm also wearing like these super super thin socks I think I might have already said that if I did I told you I forget what I say <laughs> right <laughs> Robert's like I don't care dude <laughs> shut up <laughs> uh, but anywho so yeah we'll see if they work out because if I can save the money on the boots that's what it's all about saving the money and this is it. <laughs> I think I might just name this vlog Visit. it. Because <laughs> I can't stop talking about it. I'm obsessing over it. I'm sure some of you guys are probably like, shut up already. No one cares about the freaking zit. But I do. <laughs> I tried to add a little bit more eye candy, but we had some other errands that we had to run. And uh, I'm sure if we go back to Cabazon, I'll end up filming there as well. Uh, and I'm still thinking about the the lily bag right the lily from mulberry i really like the size and i really like how it's lightweight too so who knows so i'm at our favorite place i don't know if you guys can see too much going on but i came here um i bought something and it didn't end up working out so i am returning it i didn't even walk out of the store with it because it doesn't really work out i'm supposed to be the I know I'm supposed to be looking for my brother's birthday gift, but I'm a Nordstrom and I tried on some clothes. Let me share it with you guys. So this is a full leather jacket, 100% leather jacket, and the company is, hang on, let me see, Treasure and Bond. Yeah, Treasure and Bond. And I like the way that it zips up. The medium was a little too... A little too tight and then I'm wearing the frame denim um, I grabbed a few different sizes but this one seems to work out the best I don't have a butt <laughs> but there you guys go you can see it a little bit better I think it's a cute outfit but now I gotta go back to shopping for my little brother I don't even know what day it is today what's today Friday? Yep. I think so. Something like that. Um, yeah, but second day of trying to find my brother's gift. Not necessarily working out. I bought something yesterday, but I wasn't so happy with it. You know what I mean? I was just like, mm, I don't know. Like, you know when it doesn't sit right? Like, you were just getting something just to get it, and then you get home, and you're thinking, yeah, this isn't it. That was me. But then again, I'm super indecisive. And I also noticed that earlier in the video, you guys were able to see... A little bit of Robert in my glasses so you got a better glimpse of him does that change your mind on wanting to do a video with me nope. why maybe what if I like cut off your cut off like this cut part of your face. head yeah or something like I had you from here down maybe. I'm not trying to pressure you yes you are. no I'm not but I wanted to share you with the world try <laughs> uh, so yeah so 
Where are we going today? We're gonna go to, actually I have to run a few errands when, when I'm here anyways. Go to North Mac off the 5th, uh, on the other side of Friars Road in San Diego. And then, um, yeah. So, what, I think it's what, 60 degrees? It's 72 degrees currently in San Diego. Not too bad, so I'm wearing a, like a, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll try to do like an OOT so you guys can check it out. Um, but I did not get the jacket at Nordstrom yesterday. I'm not sure if I, I'm gonna see if I can insert the picture previously. So if you saw it, you saw it, you know what I mean? It's so hard trying to piece the vlog together and I'm trying to remember, okay, am I going to add it in there or is it gonna work out? Because obviously I haven't, I haven't gotten that far. <laughs> uh, but as of right now, I didn't get the jacket, which is by Treasure and Bond. It's super cute. Um, I was kind of going between the medium and the large and I think the medium might work out a little bit better Although because of my chest, it's not the easiest to like zip up You know what I mean? Like once I get like to my waist, it's fine And then I get up here and it's just like the zipper won't go <laughs> So I know I could leave it open, but what if I want to um, I don't know what if I want to wear it out and then it's like I live in Southern California I can't really get away with wearing a leather jacket it's either, it's too hot, right? No, not at night, winter time. Winter time is still like 50 degrees here. <laughs> I don't know, but look at it's 72 degrees and I have my Louis Vuitton shawl, just in case. <laughs> because you never know, it could get chilly. I didn't bring a cardigan, but anywho, like you could always get away with just a cardigan and like a short sleeve shirt down here. You're fine. But a leather jacket, and it's just like, oh man, like if I go to All Saints, because All Saints does have some amazing leather jackets, they're like $5.99 I think, or $600, bucks, or they're either $600 or $700, $700, I can't remember, and they're really, really nice, but it's like, okay, am I going to use it? I just want to get, I want to go do what I have to do, and then I have to go back home, bake his cake, and just get everything ready for his birthday tomorrow, because his birthday is on Saturday, so his birthday is before mine lucky bee <laughs> so I'm I'm always like trying to spoil my brother because for me it's definitely about like buying like buying something for him or spending time with family that's that's all I ever care about when it comes to uh, to birthdays you know check this out diamonds you see those sign twirlers that was one of my very first jobs I did it for one whole day I hated it because I wore uh, braids and I burnt my scalp so bad because I was out there I mean, I made a decent amount of money, not bad, but that was my legit first job. So, I always remember, you know what I'm saying? Remember that job. I remember how old I was and what I went through. <laughs> so I have mad respect for any sign twirlers out there. People are so mean too. They honk their horn, they're like, hey, they, they shout all these obscenities at people and no. A job is a job, you know what I'm saying? And be proud of your job. And I was proud of being a sign twirler, even if it was for one day. <laughs> yeah, because the boots from off the fifth that I ended up buying, the size nine, they're way too big. So I ended up having to go down a half size. So an eight and a half seems to work out the best in the 50-50s, for me anyways. Because I tried on the a different style in the eight and a half and they were too tight. So it's all over the place. Uh, but yeah, so I went down the half size. And there's still, like, my left side is still a little loose. Um, but you know how, like, one of your one of your feet is bigger than the other? Like, slightly bigger than the other. So sometimes your footwear is a little bit tighter on that one. So. And then I have to go to Best Buy to pick up the Google thing. Or whatever so it's that's called. For, that's for sure. I think so. I think he'll like it. I think so, too. My brother's a, like, a... He likes tech, and we're we're so so opposite. But then he also likes luxury goods. So this year, I decided to opt against the luxury goods and go for something tech. I don't know. He likes video games too, but <laughs> no, <laughs> no video games. So I found some at Nordstrom Rack. Uh, some of the framed denim. Look at the price. Oh, some price on these but I really like the rips on here and these seem to be a little bit comfortable. Again, nothing on the behind. There we go. I have my little pony socks today. These are super comfy. 
Look at that. It's a crazy good savings. I'll take it. I'll take it any day. Before I put it away, I put this on, I mean, to try it out. It's way too small, it's a medium. But check this out. It's like, it looks so much, it reminds me of, uh, of a Chanel jacket. Check it out. So here's the price. 129 and 131 and it used to be 328 Look at how cute that is. It has little, little specks of like glitter or whatever. Look at how cute that is. Let me see if I can put it. I'm getting too close to it. Look at that. What's up with that Nordstrom? Nordstrom rack. <laughs> Look at this. I love that. And the lining that it has. Super cute. This is adorable. So again, that's the company. And I found this jacket. It's by French Connection. And it has like double zippers. Look at this. I really like this. Yes! Maybe I need a bigger size. Maybe. You're obsessed with wanting me to try on some. I'm not going into the, to the fitting room, so I'm just gonna do it here. <laughs> I look like Mario or something. Yeah, these aren't even gonna zip up. These are way too small. And they're white. So Nordstrom Rack was a success for me, not for my brother. I found some of the framed denim uh, and I got two for 215 bucks with tax. If I was to get one, it would be like 219 plus tax. So if you want the framed denim, I highly recommend going into Nordstrom Rack versus going to Nordstrom uh, just because I feel that the savings are that much greater. So I got those and they always have like so many to choose from too. But the sizing is kind of funky because sometimes I'm a smaller size in a different style, but that's the, that's the same for anything. So now we're heading to Best Buy. Okay. I don't know. Robert, are you laughing at me? Not yet. Not yet. I'm not going to hit anybody, right? Who knows? Oh, yeah, this one's actually pretty cool. I like this one. All right, so that was quick. I literally like flew into Neiman's, did what I had to do. Now I'm waiting for Robert because he had to go to use the restroom. Uh, so now we have to head home. Hopefully we don't hit traffic and that way I can start baking the cakes for my brother's birthday. And um, then we, you know, then I can get everything ready for his dinner tomorrow. I feel like it's like this long drawn out preparation or whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, shopping with me for the, you know, the last couple of days and finding a few items. I was trying to incorporate as much eye candy as possible. And uh, the more and more I do them, I think the more and more I vlog, uh, even though I'm not really a vlogger, you guys know that. Um, I think the more comfortable I'll feel with being able to share like outfits of the day and stuff like that. It's still taking baby steps. And, um, you know, it's just, I don't, I want, I don't know. I just feel like. I don't want it to be something that it's not, you know what I mean? I'm not like, turn on the camera and act a certain way. So that's not what works for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not, the choice is yours. Have a great day.